Hello, uh, Pockets here. Back again playing some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, it's been a little while since my last video. I believe it was the... Oh, I remember the Drake's deck. I've been tweaking things around and playing still some best of one. Uh, mostly I've been playing in constructed events. I think we're going to go back into that for a second. Do I have one going? I do with my Phoenix aggro deck. Uh, so let me just quickly show you the deck. That's kind of what I've been working with. And we're going to see... I've been averaging four to five wins. I'd like to get to seven once. I think I got to six once or twice. And I've just kind of, kind of been doing this because I realized I'm not likely to get, within five days, likely to get out of gold tier. I mean, I might try to still get a little higher, but I wanted to try to do something, build up some coins and some cards. So this just seemed like, whoops, the best way to do it for the, for the short term. And we'll play some ranked again later. But... I want, oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to show you the deck. That's what I'm doing. These are just some other stuff I've been playing around with. All right. So this is my version. It's for best of one. So the sideboard is empty. And it runs dive downs just to kind of protect my drakes mostly. I'm occasionally throwing it on a phoenix if I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out in time out of the graveyard. Uh, Opt, because it's a great card to throw in when you don't have anything else to do. End of your opponent's turn, usually, or upkeep. Scry card, kind of give you some more value out of your draws. Uh, maximize velocity. Um, so the trick with this deck is to try to have a, some quick spells, cheap spells you can cast on your turn to pull phoenixes out of the graveyard when it becomes an issue. So I have three maximum velo maximized velocities. Works really good if you're on like five men as well. You can throw down a drake with haste. Or if you have a Drake, you give it plus one, plus one, maybe cast a couple of these, and some shocks to pull your Phoenixes out. So nice cheap spells here. Uh, Charter Course and Radical Idea for some more card draw. So, but, so that's a decent amount of card draw, as well as Discovery, which we'll put here. So this is kind of almost all card draw. Uh, Discovery Dispersal, mostly I use it for card draw. I have yet to use Dispersal. I'm even thinking I might drop the Blood Crypt. Uh, just to, there's been a couple times where I've drawn the Blood Crypt is my second land, and it's been a bit of a pain. Uh, mountain and Blood Crypt, where it'd be better to have a mountain, maybe throw in another island for it. We'll see. That's something we can, whatever. Uh, Lava Coil, just to help remove, it's a really good against the opposing Drake decks. Uh, when it's not Phoenixes, especially when they're running both the Crackling and Enigma Drakes. Uh, also helps remove early, ag during uh, aggro decks, you can just, you know, pop a chain whirler for example uh, again more card draw so this one does run both the enigma and the crackling drake i did it for a while have the what's his name this the black red wizard doesn't matter he um makes your spells cost one less but i find i need the extra creature depth and a little more aggression in the best of one it probably works a lot better in best of two or it seems to work a lot better in best uh in traditional to have the the two the red white or the red blue wizard, two beacon bolts. Um, I did that instead of three lava coils, just because I like the recursion. Because if I'm in a position where I know I'm going to be able to recur phoenixes, I can use the beacon bolt out of the graveyard to bend the phoenix, and then maybe cast a couple cheap spells and pull them out. You know, if I'm sitting on five mana, I can beacon bolt for a decent amount and cast a couple of these to pull to unbin it, which is really good. I have a single copy of the RAL. The RAL is it Viceroy. I might try and fit a second one in because when he does hit the table, I like it a lot. Uh, but with our card draw, I do see him fairly often. Of course, now that I've said that, we won't see him. But this is kind of just where I've been tinkering. And I've been doing it in Constructed just so I get some value out of my play. Especially if I can at least break even. I'm usually pretty okay with it. Uh, so we'll go Constructed Event. Uh, but it is a best of one, so it's kind of tilted towards that a little bit so a little more aggro i might consider dropping the op or not the ops the dive downs because they don't help recur phoenixes but i've also found that i don't i'm not always looking to recur the phoenixes uh, often i'm just casting them out of my hand because they have haste three two haste flyers are pretty good just out of the hand for four mana and just recurring when i need to kind of thing sort of slow rolling spells this is a good start this is a very good start uh, we don't have any creatures, but we do have some card draw. We can sit on the velocity until we need it. We'll probably start with the discovery, turn two. 
Uh, we'll keep it. We'll see what our opponent is playing. I have, I mean, I can beat mono red. This is going to be home. Yeah, this, this might be a hard matchup. Mono white or uh, white black vampires. There we go. It's the vampire one. Yeah, this is going to be rough for us, actually. This is probably my worst matchup. So we're just going to go ahead and drop that. We'll play the mountain first just to, because it doesn't really matter. Actually, it doesn't really matter at this point. Play the duels. And yeah. This is where it starts to be bad for us. So we're probably going to lose this one, and that's okay. There's our Ral. I'm going to start with this. We're going to have to... I'd like to get rid of a land. I'd like something other than land. Enigma Drake and a Phoenix. <laughs> I'm going to keep both those. Actually, we're going to put the, the Enigma Drake first because we can play it next turn and maybe eat some uh, early creatures. We won't have any sort of protection for it, but we can get it out as a 1-4 and it can block... Oh, we need a bolt. This is a Bant aggro. This could, or not Bant. I keep doing that. Boros aggro. Yeah, still going to be a hard matchup for us. Let's go ahead and get our Phoenix out anyways. I can eat some of the creatures. They're going to bolt it. or They probably have Lava Coils in this deck, would be my guess. Uh, whenever you cast a multicolor spell, and then another multicolor. So yeah, this is going to be rough. No board sweepers. So the other thing I'm thinking of doing is dropping the blood crypt and putting a couple of the white dual lands, white red or white blue or one of each, and then doing something like a deafening clarion to clear a board state like this. Uh, once you get your drakes boosted up, it might be super helpful. So next turn we can cast a phoenix. Uh, and get everybody plus one except for those two. Okay. Uh, well, that's fine. We'll eat one of these. They got quite the board state on us here. Sulfur Falls isn't going to be super helpful yet. We'll use that. In, oh, no, that's right. Sorry, not Steam Vents. We'll go ahead and throw that out. Uh, let's put out another blocker. Got to help stabilize. They might bolt. They might be able to oops, um, shock it, but no attacks. Can't afford. We have to block a bit. Uh, we'll try not to lose the Phoenix early on. We'll block some of the smaller guys. We'll use this guy to block the bigger butts. Although they're not killing anything if we do that. So I don't know. This is a hard matchup. Like this going wide is not great for us. And then they've got a mentor as well. <laughs> so I'm going to consider this a loss, but we're going to play it out because who knows? We can't outrace them. Probably kill this lifelinker with the Phoenix. We'll kill all. Jeez. Uh, yeah, it's okay, because we can recur the Phoenix. Let's kill one of these. Actually, yeah. Yeah. They're getting a lot of damage through still. It might not even have been enough. Okay. <laughs> so, in typical fashion... This is a deck I'm still trying to figure out how I want to deal with it. Uh, there's not a lot in blue for board wipes, and there's not a lot of like red outside of the Gates of Blaze. We might be able to find something in black. Like, uh, not Cry, Cry of the Carnarium, maybe? But then we'll have to go deeper into the splash. Uh, nothing super great there, but that's okay. We'll just go right back into it and try another match. I'm hoping we're not just going to meet all those today. That has happened where I faced, faced nothing but um, like white, mono white, and obviously Boros and um, Orzov vampire type deals. And those are my one I'm trying to figure out what to do. It's hard in, mon in best of one to get everything, so you know you can't really expect to be good against absolutely everything. That just doesn't work. As long as I break even, it's worth it because we get the extra cards. Now, this isn't perfect. In fact, it's far from it. But we should we go first as well. We do have a card draw, so we're going to keep it. I still haven't quite figured out my ideal hand. I would think one more land, one less Drake would probably do it because this gives us a turn three and then turn four plays. We're going to play this out tapped. And then we're going to say hello. This 
rude rudeness. And we got black. Okay. Uh, let's just go right ahead into we'll, we'll radical ideal at the end of their turn. Uh, we'll bluff having something. Oh, Golgari, this is gonna be interesting. Golgari, maybe some sort of ramp. Okay. Oh, they didn't. Another phoenix. Okay. Jeepers. Uh, there we go. That's helpful. That's what I was looking for. Maximized velocity is not exactly helping us here. Uh, next turn, I can Enigma Drake for a 0 4. At least I can block. Nope. I got two guards on the graveyard, so it'll be a 2 4. I keep forgetting because they don't show up here because they show up here. They should show up in both places, but. Or is it exiled? No, graveyard, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. If we do pull another mana, we'll put a, a, dr or a phoenix out. No. no, that's okay. Straight into this. Actually, we do have a clack crackling drake, so if we pull another mana source, we'll put that out to draw a card as well. If not, we have another enigma. They'll probably have removal. They are black. They're not going to be shy of... Uh, Cast downs, probably. Ooh, we'll got an inheritance. That sucks. I mean, that's not a great card. It sucks for us. All right. So I think we put out another butt and we start attacking. Yeah, I could have opted to make this guy one bigger, but I think I want... I need to board presence here. Next, let him swing. And then we'll Enigma Drake. We gotta start casting spells to boost our Drakes up a bit as well. We can start staying ahead of them, hopefully. We need another mana. I'll opt next turn if I have to. Actually, I think I would. Yeah, I would opt, obviously. Reddick. Oh. oh. Oh, really? Lava Coil that immediately. So in this case, we're gonna open with the Lava Coil just because this has to go. We did pull our land, but that's okay. We can do this, and we can opt, because it's better value than Radical, but this allows us something we can play to the graveyard. Uh, <laughs> I mean, sure. Because it's just another spell in the in the, uh, the deal as well. And now we're going to start racing, because we are ahead. We can win this race. You'll have to block at some point. Four fours are not to be... Uh, Enter him. So we don't have, yep, we don't have any phoenixes in the graveyard yet, but we have the setup to actually use it. So if we do end up putting them out and losing them, which could happen because he's got this guy, once we have both of these binned or one of them binned, we can actually, once the first one's binned, oh wow, wow, okay, all right, not a problem. Go ahead and bin it. Because we can Radical Idea and sacrificing this, and then Opt, Maximize Velocity to pull the two out, or see what we get here. I'm surprised we haven't run into any removal, like cast downs. The only thing he could do is if he exiles it, like Vraska's Contempt might be a problem for us. But we have gas here. We're not doing so bad. We're winning this race anyway. What you got? Our plan is kind of fluid at the moment because we can keep throwing arc like phoenixes out. <laughs> wow, okay. We can keep throwing the phoenixes out until he starts killing them, and then we can save our spells to recur it. And I think that's not a bad idea, although we're looking like in really good shape here. Unless he's got fogs or something, which I would very much doubt. Not fogs, but whatever the current fog is. Yeah, you got to attack. That's fine. I mean, if you're not going to block, you have to attack. Okay. Interesting idea. Okay, so let's... See, like here, I don't really need the black, but we can put this out anyway. Enter's tapped. I should have gone... Well, we'll see. Uh, we're just going to go... 
Let's attack with just enough to kill him. Is this what we want to do? Okay, he quit. I was trying to decide. I didn't want to uh, full attack. And although he only had one black, we probably were okay. <laughs> he probably thought I was stalling. I just wanted to run into a fog and then have him kill me next turn. So I probably would have kept one of the drakes and one of the phoenixes back and attacked with the other two. But there we go. So we're just going to try it again. I honestly am considering dropping the black splash and going a little heavier white splash to get uh, deafening clarion. Or I can go all in on the Black Splash and take stuff like uh, Cry of the Carnarium, wipes out a lot of smaller creatures. Like, here's the situation. It's not so bad because we have this island, but starting with this is less than optimal. But what we'll do is we'll keep this. And that's where my problem is. There's not a lot of reason for the Black. So even if I don't switch to white, I could drop the Black altogether and just not have a board wipe. Here we go again. Uh, we're going to play this out to start because we're going to opt at the end of their turn. This may discourage them from casting a spell of some sort, thinking I might have a spell pierce, as if I was mono blue. Ugh. That's okay, though, because we can lava coil next turn and get rid of it. But still, ouch. Uh, doesn't matter, we can opt now. Uh, let's keep that. We do have to shock out the blood crypt so we can kill that friggin' champion. Uh, pay to life. So if we don't, we're going to pay 5 life. That puts spells in our graveyard as well, so it bust and buffs these. Uh, oh, yay. Okay, so let's see. We're going to take a hit, but then we'll be able to put out this guy next turn with the dive down backup, which I'll... We're going to cast both of these at the end of the next the player's turn. Uh, can we cast both? Yes, we can. This is nothing I can do here. That's a, that's a good card. If you're, mono, if you're mono green, he's not, though. But that's a good card. Three mana for a 5-4 is uh, pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. oh. Don't mean to be slow playing. Sorry. Uh, Monochrome 5. Oh, I should have checked. That is <laughs> lameage. They did not give me a mana. That sucked. It tapped. <laughs> I should have looked. Oh. That buys him another attack, too, which sucks. Uh, we'll do it this way. Because that'll at least give us a land to play. And we can opt next turn. That sucks. I should have manually tapped. I didn't. I should have taken a second to look, so I could have tapped an island and the blood crypt. That was that was sucky. Ugh. Yeah, uh, that was some misplays and just it's not not going my way. But that's okay. We can start blocking. Mm -hmm. It might be a little too late. If that had gone the right way, I would have got that island at the end of my last at the end of his turn, and when I could have played a crackling Drake this turn. But. As it is, we are going to die next turn because I messed up. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll opt. Do you want another Enigma? I mean, we need the bodies. We have four mana now. We can play that. And we can keep dive down up. Uh huh. Because then we can eat his steel leaf, but it's still not enough. We have shock. We should have not really much we could shock. Give him a good game. We'll let him play it out. We'll still play it out how it would have been last turn. We might have done better if we had a defender up. And that just seals the deal right there. So obviously we struggle if my deck... like I wouldn't normally struggle against this so much if I hadn't misplayed a little bit. And maybe had a better starting hand. But we can do this, which buffs him up and allows us to block this, and then we die. But that's okay. Let him have it. We were dead anyway. Because then next turn we could put out this. We can accept the losses. <sighs> definitely, definitely comments down below. Um, one of the things I might look into, although 
the way the deck runs, I don't know if I'd ever have an opportunity to really use it. it would be an expansion explosion, but I don't own any yet. I have I'm working on some decks that would benefit from expansion explosion, but they can't really do anything until I have them. So one of the things I need to do is start getting some cards. This is pretty ideal. Because we're three turns to draw our fourth land. We can do we have two card draws to get us there if we need it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep this. I think what we'll do is another dive down as well. At the end of turn two, we'll, we'll radical idea at the end of his turn if we don't draw something. Uh, that way, if we do, uh, we could steam vents, but we'll save that for when we need it because we want. We'll put another of this out. We'll think, have them thinking uh, mono white, no white black vampires. So this is going to struggle. We'll radical idea at the end of his turn. Hopefully he'll play as if we're on the mono blue path until next turn, and maybe we can draw a three drop off here. Okay. This is where shocks and stuff are really helpful. Maybe we'll draw one of those. Mm -hmm. End of the turn, radical idea. Did not get there, but that did. Uh, so that gives us a red. Let's go ahead and put out the red source. And we'll cast Discovery. That's a sorcery. That's another blue mana. And a shock. We want the shock first. Although, <laughs> ideally, we would have kept the red up, but that's okay. That one, I probably would have done it this way to keep. No, no, I would have done the two blues. I gotta start paying attention. That's one of the things I definitely have to do. That's hurdy. We need to get rid of this life linker. They both they're all life linkers. Alright, so let's put this out. We will hold that till the end of our his turn, I think. Or do we put the Phoenix out? Phoenix will die. I think we shock. And radical idea one of the steam vents, I think. Let's shock the flyer. And then, at the end of the turn, we'll steam vent, get rid of one of the, well, radical idea using one of the steam vents. I think we've lost this. I have the, I have it. I'm very close. Because I can actually hit this and this if I get a, if I uh, shock one of these out next turn. Did I play a land? I did. Mm hmm And then swinging for four, and he's going to, that's a four life swing, but we could stabilize. Could stabilize. Let's see. We need to keep this arc like Phoenix because we do need a creature here. We don't need this. We can get rid of that. That's even better. We don't have to shock out a land now. So we can put this out. And we can put this out with dive down up. And then we wait. He's going to attack. We can't kill this. We could kill these slowly. Hmm. Okay. That may stall his attack for a turn too. Nope, he's gonna attack in, that's fine. He's gonna do five damage. We're getting we need to draw a creature. We'll block the flyer. He doesn't have death touch. <laughs> We're not gonna stabilize in time unless I get a creature right here. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely uh, ain't gonna happen. But uh, let's not do that yet. We got to see if we can't shock it out anyway. I suppose. Uh, let's discard it. We have enough for the Enigma Drake, but he still has enough to swing for two, unfortunately. Wow, <laughs> just one turn too late. And then he swings with everything, and we die. But we almost did it. Almost did it. Uh, yeah, we can block there. We can block there. Let him have it. See, but these this is the matchup. Like the vampires and any of those go wide decks are where I struggle with no wipers. You can see that. 
That sucks. Two losses already. I'm not even going to break even this time. I almost never don't break even. It's just now that I'm recording. This is like Eve all over again, where it doesn't matter how many times I, I practice. I always screw up while I'm recording. I don't know if I misplayed anything there. I guess some of the early tapping stuff, like I should have got the shock out of turn earlier. Ouch. See, and there's the problem. So definitely have to mulligan that. Oh. Although shock early, this can buy us some time, depending on what we're up against. I think we're going to keep this one. We have the opt as well, but we don't have mana for it. That definitely has to go to the bottom. We'll, put it, we'll, we'll have him think we're on the mono. Mono red for a couple turns. Hopefully we draw an island like right away. Mono red, that's good. We bought ourselves a little time. He's going to put out nothing. So we're probably going to see a Steamkin next turn. Ah, that couldn't have gone better. Haha. <laughs> So now we have two. We can do two things on his turn, which is going to fuel our drakes. We can opt and shock if he puts out something. Oh, Rakdos, Steamkin. Yep. So Rakdos burn, Steamkin must go. And go ahead and opt as well. Uh, chart a course, or yeah, we're gonna chart a course because I'll just look at two cards. And we can take, oh, well, that is just beautiful. We're going to drop the Blood Crypt. We don't want that. We're going to keep the Shock up. We have Lava Cool next turn if they do get a Chain Whirler or something on the table. This is how you beat the aggro. You just keep their crap off the table. Uh, it could also be Seractus. So we probably won't see like a whatever that wall is. Static Barrier or whatever, via Shanu, Pyromancer, Resolve. If we draw land, we can put our Phoenix up, and it can trade with the via Shanu, maybe. We probably won't shock that one yet, or do we shock it and go? Yeah, we shock it and pray. We have a Lava Coil if they do put something out, so yes, what I wanted. So now we kind of start saving our spells because they're going to start burning these, but that also means that we're taking away burn to the face, which means they won't likely be burning our face. He also got mana screwed a little bit, so we'd probably be a little further behind. So I'm expecting a shock or a lightning to the phoenix. Any day. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, target player discards a card, activate this ability any time. You can play a sorcery. Plus, okay, there we go. Okay, we have enough now. We could lava coil it. I think we do. We lava coil and give it the turn. Just to keep stuff off the table. It would have been nice, but we don't really have enough mana to cast three spells if we do that. So we'd say two creatures, double lava coil, but we don't have the spells. This is where we dive down starts to feel bad because we can't really use it to recur not without losing the valid like the benefit of dive down yeah okay cool we'll hope we'll hope he'll think we're on a spell pierce or something and he might slow play we could still lose this burn they could just go off i don't know what they have Okay, two to haste. We're still okay. I want to see what he does. I like to bluff the spell pierce. Yeah, okay. Uh, nope. That's a little better because that gives us some more depth. But we're st we're on the back foot now. We actually have to put this up. We just do. He might be able to lava coil it or something, but we need to put it up. It would have been nice to have the dive down back up now, because they can't lava coil it or double shock it. He is limited on cards, though, so they're kind of out of gas. I don't think I would trade for the Phoenix until I had a way to remove the egg. But we definitely kill this. Okay. He's going to go digging. He can't draw this turn. That gives us a sec. That gives us a hot second to find something. OK. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this out. We're going to radical idea. And if we draw an enigma drake, that'd be perfect. Right off the top, and we're going to keep the beacon bolt as well. That is too perfect. Okay. Do we have... I'd like to get a burn before we... Uh... Offer the trade, or do we just attack? And now he probably will have to trade, but we have no way to kill it, so no. We'll get Beacon Bolt into play, so we can uh, block, and then we can shoot it. I mean, it, a nine damage Beacon Bolt to kill the egg, but that gets the Phoenix off the table. Yeah, it's okay. Stone draw lava coil or something that can kill my Drakes. Although, if we can get the Drake off with the Beacon Bolt, we can just kill him. Lethal next turn. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Okay. So that is the play. We have enough to do both. So let's do our Radical Idea first. Because that'll get him 10 tens. Okay. That can come into play tapped. We can Beacon Bolt. And then we have the Beacon Bolt as backup next turn if something happens here, but there we go. So he didn't exactly go off, but there was a it was touch and go there for a minute. I have done about the same thing against like the full-on mono red aggro, which is great. We'll do one more game here, and then we'll cut it and finish up the event in the next. But I am liking this deck. It's a little more fun to play than what I have been playing. Uh, I got bored of the gate deck. It's not necessarily mindless, but it's more just throw out gates until you get a gate breaker ram into the field for the most part. This is a good hand. Got our shocks. We have a turn three play. We have a turn two play right off the gate. This is a good good start. Now, as long as you don't run out of gas. I forgot to check if we were on the player or the draw, but that's okay. We might be on the draw. Yeah, no, we're on the play. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start with shock up. We'll see what happens. In case we're against Mono Red, get, her, get their first threat off the table. Uh, nope, okay. That is all right. So I think we're going to end of their turn. Radical idea, just in case. That'll keep our shock up again in case they get something. we got to keep the early, early threats off the field against some of these uh, aggro decks. This could be a Creatureless Teamer deck as well, like a Tefiri. So we got to go fairly quick. We have an Enigma Drake early, so what's Radical ID uh, now? I don't think he's going to do anything. Double Enigma Drake and a land. Wow. We have all the gas. We'll put him out so we can start beating. I mean, it's not perfect. He didn't counter it, which is good. Next turn, Phoenix, an attack for four, I think. Uh, he might have a counter for this. We'll see. Phoenix is a good one. I'd He can counter if he's going to counter a creature because I can recur it. And I kind of have what I need to do it. I can Radical radical Idea twice. One, almost twice. Couple, put this land out and then we'll be able to do it. So boom, 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 or whatever we get for a spell. Double shock. All sorts of ways to recur them if he does cancel it. He didn't. He has... Okay. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Again, if he's going to kill a creature, that's the one I want him to kill, because we can recur it. So if I put this land out, I could recur it with uh, two, two, and one. But I think I'm just going to play the Enigma Drake. Yep, yep. Actually, he's going to be creatureless. We need to go fast, so let's do this. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Because we're radical idea, we're radical idea, drop a shock, and then shock him, recall the, the phoenix, and then swing. That'll get us one, two, that gets us like seven damage. Actually, recurring the Radical Idea, the Enigma Drake doesn't look at the Exile, so it's only going to be 
going to be a little less. Or we can chart a course now. Let's do that. Save those for later in the game when we draw too many lands. We can get our lands out or we can bin phoenixes. Uh, discard. I think we're going to discard the lava coil because it'll be creatureless, most likely. And then let's save the shock. We can jump start. Get an extra damage out of two damage out of our Drake. This lag here is what's killing me. I mean, I'm doing my decisions quick, but he's taking a lot of time to wait and think. So he's going to try to kill something here. He might kill the Enigma Drake now, which is what it is. See, saw that coming. And that's what this deck does. We just kind of have to try to play around it. So now we have another Enigma Drake. We could recur if we need to. That's going to die. I was expecting Creatureless. Uh, discards a card and you gain three life. I'm going to discard. We're going to want to double shock. Mm. No. No, that's fine. So we can do both, I think. Do we attack with the Phoenix and then Radical Idea? No, we do this. We do this and we do this. We're actually just going to drop this to the bin. Oops. <laughs> We'll give him haste, and we'll bin this, which will actually boost him again. And then we all attack. He let us through. That means he's on to something. He wants this for something. I mean, I thought you would have blocked that, but that's okay. We're getting close to having him in shock range. He has to kill the Drake for sure this turn. We can radical idea if we decide not to shock. If he doesn't, yeah, we got lots of options here. He's expecting creatureless. This is an interesting. I mean, I get it because it just got a card, gain three life, so it helps against aggro like mono red. This plays really well against mono red, I guess. So it's actually not a bad idea in best of one for the Tefiri deck, which I'm still assuming this is it. We have Tefiri and Kaya in it. We might see them here. He sees the red, the blue mana, so he wants to play around a spell pierce, or a, yeah, would be my guess. He's thinking. If he plays to fury, I kind of have to kill it, but he's gonna bounce one of my creatures probably immediately. Cry the Canarium. Okay, that's okay. That exiles the Phoenix, so I can't bring it back. I don't think I have any in here. I do not. Oh, why didn't... Yeah, okay. Let's start with this. What are we tapping? Let's keep the red mana up. We'll manually do this. Because in case I get another shock, I can double shock the bell haunt. Uh, oh, or beacon bolt. Beacon bolt to kill the bell haunt. And we kill for... Get lethal. He might have a counter spell up. So let's try it. Hmm. Let's try it. He didn't. And that's game. Yeah, those beacon bolts, man. I've had them. I've removed, lar I've removed large gatebreaker rams with those. I like them. Oh, we got a pack. All right, so that is going to be the last game of this particular video. We're going to cut it there. We'll open our pack, see what we get. In the next video, we'll keep going. As you can see, still on track to break even, plus getting the gold for the wins from the, the daily or the, the quests or whatever you want to call them. I definitely can use some wild cards. There's another common wild card, quite what I was after. Ooh, that's a good one to open. I'll take all the rare lands. Always happy to see those. All right. Okay, so that's it. So this is my deck. I will try to remember. I can post the deck list in the comments down below if you guys want to try it. Uh, this is the other the Phoenix that I was playing that I kind of based the aggro version off of. You can see there's no dive down. Because I'm playing it a little more aggressive, I want dive down to help keep my, my drakes alive. Or phoenixes if it's critical. 
And you can see there, there it is, Globulin and Electromancer is the guy I couldn't remember. Uh, there's four lava coils and one beacon bolt, which I have adjusted a little bit. I just like the beacon bolt late game when some of the bigger creatures happen to be out and causing problems. And this one does actually have a sideboard, if I remember correctly, but it's not all there yet. There's stuff I'm missing, so I've got just some placeholders. But there we go. So we'll probably show this deck at some point as well. This is my I'm working on my best of two deck. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's one of the things I want to do is just show gameplay, just what I do. Uh, people seem to like it. and Just chat, shoot the shit. I try to talk through my decisions as best I can. Uh, if something's not clear, definitely ask. I'll do my best to uh, clarify why I did certain things, even if that's just because I don't know any better. But that's going to be it. As always, folks, take care of each other, and I'm out of here.